story from your hometown, Luke. Some scary moments last night in Two Rivers when a referee fell to the floor during a high school basketball game. Several people sprang into action to help the man who was showing signs of cardiac arrest. Local 5 Steve Dent joins us now live in the studio with more. Steve. Well, Aaron, the high school referee is recovering from a heart attack, but he would not have made it to the hospital if not for the immediate reaction from people at the game. Well, this story shows the importance of community, but also the importance of learning CPR and how to use an automated external defibrillator. The small town of Two Rivers supports their Raiders. And that's one of the great things about uh, this area. Uh, we really are kind of a, a family, a, a community down here. And it showed when a basketball referee collapsed in front of the Valder's bench. We have a lot of people to thank. The athletic director and assistant principal raced into the hallway, each grabbing an emergency defibrillator. Zach Peterson noticed the ref's lips were blue. He showed signs of cardiac arrest with the blue, um, checked for a pulse, and we didn't feel a pulse. CPR was started immediately. It was a team response with the athletic trainer stepping in to help. Nurses coming out of the stands along with off-duty paramedic EMTs from both Manitowoc and Two Rivers. Seeing everybody coming to the aid of this patient was just amazing. It's a voice prompt. Start CPR. Assistant Fire Chief David Mirak says starting chest compressions was the most important factor in saving the referee's life, but it also took a shock from the AED. And what the defibrillator does is it shocks the heart to stop all electrical activity with hopes that with CPR the heart will reset itself. The referee regained consciousness, but Two Rivers called the game because students were concerned. I want to commend the, the student section from both. Alders High School and our high school. I, you know, I think it's refreshing to see uh, some genuine concern on the part of our young people. Well, first responders also say important aspects in any emergency situation include identifying the problem and promptly calling 911. I also learned that every coach in the WIAA gets trained in CPR. Steve Dent, Local 5 News. Some good lessons there. Thanks, Steve. Okay.